say goodbye to monotonous books, and say hello to colorful, interconnected mind maps. In this series, we will quickly help you revise important concepts with the help of mind maps, which you can access later using our app. In this video, we will cover some concepts related to fluorides. You can grab your notebooks for this one and make a note of the points in the mind map. Let's begin with the historical evaluation of fluoride, which spans several decades. Some of these major milestones are, in 1901, McKay identified the phenomenon of Colorado stain and termed it mottled enamel. In 1912, McKay discovered an article by Dr. Egger, who referred to the condition as dentitiae. In 1918, McKay confirmed the presence of an unknown element in the water supply as the definite causative factor for enamel mottling. In 1931, Churchill demonstrated an association between high levels of naturally occurring fluoride in water and mottled teeth. Also, in 1931, Trendley H. Dean conducted the Shoe Leather Survey, or the 21 City Study, which established fluoride as the causative factor for mottling. In 1934, Dean developed the Dean's Index of Fluorosis to assess the severity of dental fluorosis. In 1942, Dean discovered that one part per million of fluoride in water reduces caries experience by 60%. The same year, the first clinical trial of fluoride dentifrice was conducted by Bibby. In 1945, the world's first artificial fluoridation plant was established in Grand Rapids, USA. This marked the first time a permissible quantity of a beneficial dietary nutrient was added to community drinking water. In 1955, the first fluoride dentifrice was recognized by the FDA. In 1964, the first ADA-approved fluoride dentifrice, Crest, was introduced. In 1969, the World Health Organization advocated that one part per million of fluoride in the community water supply was a practical and effective public health measure. Topical fluorides are commonly used in dental care for their caries preventive properties. Different solutions used in topical fluorides are sodium fluoride, stannous fluoride, and APF gel. Let's discuss sodium fluoride. It is also known as 2% sodium fluoride and has a neutral pH. It contains 9,200 parts per million fluoride. Its method of application is the Knudsen technique, and there should be four applications at weekly intervals at ages 3, 7, 11, and 13 years. It has non-irritating and acceptable taste. It does not cause pigmentation or have any effect on silicate restorations and is stable with no gingival irritation. Time for which it is applied for is 4 minutes. It results in formation of calcium fluoride as a byproduct and reduces caries up to 30%. 8% stannous fluoride with a pH of 2.4 to 2.8 is the next topical solution used. It has 19,500 parts per million fluoride. Its method of application is Muller's technique. Sodium fluoride is biannually applied. Its disadvantages are that it has a metallic taste and can cause tooth pigmentation or etching of porcelain or ceramic restorations. It is unstable due to the formation of tin hydroxide and can cause gingival irritation. Its time of application is 4 minutes and at low concentration, it results in the formation of tin hydroxyphosphate plus calcium fluoride. At high concentration, calcium trifluorostanate, tin trifluorophosphate and calcium fluoride are byproducts. It results in caries reduction up to 32%. Lastly, we have 1.23% acidulated phosphate fluoride or APF gel. It has 12,300 parts per million fluoride and its method of application is using tray technique. It should be applied biannually. Its disadvantages are that it has an acidic taste and causes etching of porcelain or ceramic restorations. It is unstable in a glass container and stable in a plastic container. APF has no mentioned adverse effects and should be applied for 4 minutes. It can result in formation of dicalcium phosphate dihydrate and calcium fluoride as byproducts and may have a choking off effect if there is a sudden stop of fluoride entry. It can reduce 
carries up to 28%. An aqua solution of 1.23% APF is also known as Brutwald's solution. It should be noted that APF gel is thixotropic and flows when stress is applied. Fluoride dentifrice and mouth rinses are commonly used for their caries preventive properties. Sodium fluoride mouth rinses are recommended for daily use in dosage 0.05%. Sodium fluoride with 225 parts per million of fluoride and can be used by patients undergoing fixed orthodontic treatment. It can also be recommended for weekly use in dosage 0.2% sodium fluoride with 900 parts per million of fluoride. It can be used by swishing 10 ml of the liquid around the mouth for 60 seconds, followed by expectoration. It is not recommended for children under 6 years of age. Fluoride dentifrice is the most commonly used product and contains a combination of sodium monofluorophosphate and insoluble metaphosphate abrasive. Its fluoride concentration can vary in the range of 900 to 1000 parts per million or 0.76% for adults and 500 parts per million for children. The frequency of use of fluoride toothpaste should be less than 4 years, not recommended. Between 4 to 6 years, Brush once daily with fluoride toothpaste and twice daily without toothpaste. For 6 to 10 years, brush twice daily with fluoride toothpaste and once daily without toothpaste. For above 10 years, brush 3 times daily with fluoride toothpaste. Another method of topical application of fluoride is the fluoride varnish, which was first developed by Schmidt in Europe. It is designed to maintain fluoride ions in intimate contact with the enamel for longer periods, which promote the deposition of more permanently bound fluoroapatite, a form of enamel that is more resistant to dental caries. Some key fluoride varnish products and their characteristics include Durafat, Fluor Protector, Carex, Durafluor, and Cavity Shield. Durafat was the first fluoride varnish developed and contains 22,600 parts per million fluoride. It is basically sodium fluoride varnish with 2.26% fluoride in organic liqueur base. The next one, Fluor Protector, has a fluoride concentration of 7,000 parts per million or 0.7%. It is effective for caries prevention. The third varnish is Kerex, which has a fluoride concentration of 1.8%. It has lower fluoride concentration compared to Durafat but has equal efficiency. Duraflow varnish contains 2.6 mg per milliliter of fluoride and contains sodium fluoride in an alcoholic suspension of natural resin with xylitol. Lastly, we have Cavity Shield which has a fluoride concentration of 5% sodium fluoride with a resinous base. You can go through some other points related to fluorides such as the anti caries effect of fluoride, pit and fissure sealants, effects of fluoride at different levels and the physiology of fluoride in the body in this section of the mind map. With this, we come to the end of this discussion on fluorides. Hopefully, we have helped you revise this topic quickly. And now, after watching this, you can head on to the MCQs on our app and try to solve them. Happy learning!